you. Good morning and welcome to Planner Craft. Today I'm going to be taking you through some coloured pencil drawing. Um, so I want to take you uh, through um, some basic ranges of pencils. I'm going to start at low budget and work my way upwards. Now typically these also tend to be the harder pencils at the lower end of the budget. Um, Ian is money, money in the uh, com comments. Yeah. So if you do have any questions at any point, just drop them in the comments box. So I've gone for a range of blues so that we can keep more or less like the light. So you will see there's a little bit of variation between the ranges. So I'm going to start off with these Stella Norrises. So these are probably the ones that you're most likely to start with. Now, when you're drawing with these, you'll find that they're quite a tough pencil. They take a lot of weight behind them. And they're probably equivalent to about um, probably a, a B to a 2B in the darkest range. Uh, so we have Carolyn this morning. Hello. And Hayley. Carol says you've been playing with a new template, trying to do one of Dar Barbara's doodles, but needs more practice. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have Tracy's in this morning. Morning, Tracy. Oh, evening, Tracy. Sorry. Uh, we have Karen. Morning, Karen. Uh, Julie and Michelle. All in this morning. Cool. Hope you all like the video. Yes, if you do watch the video back from the start, there is a one minute uh, silence and dedication for the uh, it's the key workers and NHS workers that have passed away, isn't it? Yeah. Um, during the coronavirus. So if anybody does want to uh, watch that back, then one more of them. I can upload it's a separate video as well. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to um, say these. I have to always check the spelling because it's a bit of an odd one. S T A D. So they're a good entry level pencil and they're they're great for kids and your, your adult colouring books. But if, when you're looking at actually taking your colouring beyond, you're going to find that you're going to start to struggle. So then what? I'll just oh, I'll save those to later. Is a bit special. So as you go up through the ranges, the next ones I'm going to go for are the colour softs. I'm just going to say we have Pat with us who's joined us for the first time. So good morning, Pat. Uh, I'm glad you could join us on this. Uh, Maybe. Overcast, wet morning, or it is where you are, but it's soggy, uh, soggy morning, <laughs> it is here, yes. Okay, so the colour soft pencils, know exactly what they say on the, on the side of them. They're nice and soft, and you can get real good thick coverage down. So if you are looking for a colouring that's going to pack a punch, these are brilliant. They'll also work on your darker card stocks. So these, you'll... you'll really have to struggle to get them visible but these will absolutely love it. One of my top tips for uh, colour pencils is to make sure they're always nice and sharp and the paper I'm using is just literally um, generic cartridge paper so it's nothing fancy at this point. Oh Lou is watching. Hi Lou. Uh, and Hayley's asked, what's your favourite sharpener? <laughs> this is where it's going to be like, so obvious that I haven't emptied this. <laughs> I like the Derwent battery one. I also like the um, Derwent, this is going to be really technical, the windy handle one. <laughs> um, I do find the windy handle one is a bit better for your really soft pencils. So as we start to, to move up, in terms of how soft pencils are. We'll move that I sharpener do down a little yeah. bit and show it. I think you're just off camera. So. Sorry. That's okay. 
I've only realised because okay. it was a bit. <laughs> There's a delay. Yeah. So it does both wide and normal pencils. So it's quite handy that one. So colours are also a really good soft pencil pencil to get you started with working with quality pencils. Then between um, the ones I'm going to show you next and um, your colour softs, uh, from my mind is where you have your polychromo sitting. So I actually don't really get on with the polychromos, I have to admit, so I actually gave mine away. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you may find that that's more your preference. So it's a case of testing between those and the Prisma colours oh, as to which right, will be. I am already rather well tested. <laughs> Stupid thing. <laughs> Sorry, Siri going off on one. <laughs> Apparently, polychromos, but we shan't go there. <laughs> <laughs> so, the ones I got in my hand are Prisma colours. And these are the replacement for the old Christmas pencils. So I'll have some of those in a minute to show you as well. Even because she finds them too hard. The polychromo. The polychromo. Yeah. yeah. And she also has the Derwent windy handle one. Love. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that moment where you think, I can't remember the name. Oh. <laughs> I do like swatching colour pencils, as you can probably tell. I quite happily sit here and just colour swatches all day. Uh, Harry says Prismas are a favourite. Yeah. I'm very lucky, I have a full set of 480 of them. How many? 480. 480? 480. Isn't it? I swear it's 480, the full set. I don't know. Judith is watching as well. I don't know. I'll have to go back and count them, I think. Yeah. Say good morning, Judith. Morning! There's somebody to ask me what her favourites are. What are your favourites, Judith, for colouring? Well, that's a bit hard to <laughs> put on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> I'll clip his ear all out later <laughs> for you. <laughs> Although, if I had to take a guess, I'm going to guess like fast or pro colour. <laughs> So those are the prismas. I'll just make a quick note. Judith says hi. Haley thinks it's 150 of them. So. There we go. Yeah, I, I just have too many pencils to keep count anymore. I, I, at some yeah. point I'll show you my pencil cases and I'll tell you I have, what, five of them now? One, two, three, four, five. And your box as well, so that's yeah. six. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the ones we can find. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I have a whole load of pencils that I just like can't find anymore. They're somewhere. Uh, Carol has the Faber Castell ones. So. You've got some of those, haven't you? The Faber Castell, the polychromos, if you talk about the soft ones. Hmm. I do have some Faber Castells, but they're a bit different, so I'll talk about it. So, going right up to the top, top, top end, I'm going to go. In with the Christmas. Now these are like gold dust because they're not made anymore. So I do look after these and only use them for very special occasions. Uh, Carol has the 120 in a wooden box with the Faber Castells. Cool. Nice set. Nice set to have. <sighs> and Jackie's in as well, says hey all. Hi Jackie. <laughs> Your mum says that's just how many you wish it had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I I need one of those um, storage sets that you can just pop on the wall and just have them all. And Stop yes, they are the polychromo ones. Put the fabric cast down. Yeah. As I said, it, it's, it's a bit of horses for courses, so if you can, actually test a few out on. and you find what suits you and your style so nine times out of ten I'll go to my prismas above most of those things when it comes to doing like um, 
artwork but I'll quite happily Ooh. go to colour soft for doing different things and Tracy's on YouTube today watching oh hello Tracy hope you've enjoyed us on YouTube and Diana and Mary have just joined us as well okay so next I'm going to go to some artist pencils and um Judith, can you let me know if they still make these? Because I got these. Where did I get these from? I think it might have been Home Sense or somewhere like that. So. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm a bit of a pencil fiend, so if I can see a set that I think, oh, I haven't got that one. And <laughs> yes. um, Claire's just joined us as well. Morning, Claire. Morning Mary, morning Diane. Okay, so these are probably... Yes, they do. Says Judith. Cool. These go. are slightly harder than um, than the polychromo, but um, not hard, hard, if that makes sense. And um, Wendy's just joined as well. And Michelle? What? Somebody say you got too many. No, no. <laughs> Trace is saying she's watching YouTube from the iPad while she mocks around on the computer. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't want those ones again. That's the next one. So I also have some different signatures. Mm. That's gonna be another. Do do? Do they still do these ones? I, I have to say that. though, your your idea of purple's a bit of an odd one with these. <laughs> Which one did I pick? Uh, you've got the violet oxide that's kind of... Oh. No. Yeah. But the French Ultra is nice. There you go. I'd use the violet oxide for like shadow on the a portrait rather than the... I think they're a bit more specialist though, aren't they, the signature ones? Um, I think I got it more because it was a nice set. <laughs> <laughs> morning Sarah Lou, morning Sandra. I think. But again, these are slightly harder than the artist ones. At least to my mind. Okay. Then we get up to the uh, we have Sandra Top as well. End. Morning, Sandra. <coughs> Excuse me. You all right, dear? Yeah, just choking on my own. Uh. <laughs> choking on for now? Yeah. Okay, so these are the pro colours. Um, I'm sure Judith will say how much she loves these pencils. <laughs> uh, good morning, Sandra. Norman sells. We have two Sandras in. And I yes, it is admit, a damp and chilly day. I'm enjoying warming up with these. Oh, your um, thingy ones, signatures, for a collector's edition. There you go. <laughs> so, don't make those anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, we spoke. <laughs> yeah, as I said, I think I got it because it was a nice set at the time. Mm. <laughs> I collect them and... Occasionally I use them. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's something I, I would rather have more time to do, but I do find it nice and relaxing. Ends up quite happy to sit here and swatch pencils all day long. So these pencils are really, 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 really nice. But correct me if I'm wrong, Judy, if they're a little bit higher budget than um, colour sauce. Which ones do you want? The pro colours. Pro colours. Yeah. But they'll t also take a much heavier hand than the colour sauce. So the colour sauce will quite happily um, crumble when I'm really going at it, because occasionally I do. <laughs> These ones you can really layer lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. And lots. Uh, 
I'm funny. I have some like fast. And morning, Zena. And uh, these are fab. And really, what I would call artist grade. So they're right, 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 right up there. And like they say, like fast, perfect. So if you are doing a project that you want to have longevity for, so even if you're doing like a, a scrapbook where you don't want it to... <laughs> oh dear, Barbara ran over this morning. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's alright, we missed Barbara this morning so we'll probably have to go back and watch that one. Well, I was doing the video. <laughs> yes, you were doing the, the, the video for the minute silence this morning. This is where I hope that Ian hasn't flattened all my relief paint. It's going, oh, that was wet. So, Usually with coloured pencils, usually once it's down, it's down, you're not going to be able to lift it off totally. But you can get some erasable ones. Um, again, these sit right up with the Stedler Norris, which is why I've come back up here. But the more they say that they're erasable, they're like... I think smudgeable would be more appropriate. Because... The eraser on these is not that great. But I'll be honest. <laughs> so these ones are by Faber Castell. And probably the least used pencils in the uh, <laughs> pencil case. So, actually, basically, you've got an eraser on one end, supposedly erases the other end. So if anybody wants to know which is my least favourite, that's those. <laughs> then we have the metallics. Now, metallic pencils, you always find swatch far better on black card. But what I'll do is I'll do a separate stream on drawing onto black and onto craft. Because it's quite an enjoyable um, skill set to have because you have to kind of think in the negative to a certain extent. Hayley says the electric eraser is quite good if not too much colour is down. Well, we can test that for you in a minute. Okay. <laughs> we have one of those. Okay. So, good old girl. We have, let's see if that can do it, we can handle it better. There we go. Rather than that smudgy mess that we had. So what I'll do is I'll do a stripe through the bottom left. And morning Lisa. will do most of them. <laughs> now to challenge me in Tombow Mono. As we know from yesterday, the Tombow Mono is good for really tight detail. However, it is still only a normal eraser. So you'll see on like Prismas it won't lift a lot of the pigment. Lisa says morning. Morning! Again with the colour soft you see it smudges it more at this top end whereas our electric eraser actually erases all of it. Stella yeah. does quite a good job on. Terry's back in. Hello! Very good, it's not too bad. Where you get the electric eraser? The electric eraser you can get from Derwent. Yes? Um, and I will give you a discount code at the end 
um, for Derwent, which would allow you to uh, get you a 20% discount and a um, free postage and packaging. So if you stay until the end, I shall give you that code. Okay. And Jackie said this is before you add water, I presume. <laughs> yeah, with these ones you don't add any water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're purely... Yeah, I've gone for totally dry coloured pencils for this one. I'll do a separate stream for all water the water-based ones. Yeah. Not that I have that many or anything, I'm honest. <coughs> So, I'll do Prisma on this one. I'm going to do Colour Soft. And it is all one word, just so I keep running out of space. <laughs> uh, let's go for Light Pass on that one, I think. Color. Made it American then. Uh, let's go Christmas over here. What am I missing? I'll go artist because as we can see. Mm. So this image up here is actually coloured with prismas and then I've I did a little bit of um, gold relief paint just to do the stamens and a bit of the doula's glitter gel just to add a bit of sparkle. Came across well in the uh, picture. So I'm going to start the pole and same way that we did this one, I'm going to decide which way my light source is coming. So if I turn this around rather than make it all craning it. Going to put the light from there. So I'm going to start off with our darkest colour and I'm going over the edge of my line. Now the image that is uh, on there is an indigo blue um, poppy stamp and I've stamped it in the memento grey flannel. So after we've applied our dark blue, I'm going to my mid blue and I'm going to start to build in this form. I'm going to go to my next light blue. I'm just going to take it up to nearly our edge. I'm just going to use my palest blue just to blend it all in. Right. Okay, Jackie. <laughs> huh? Jackie says she'll catch up, watch on catch up. So no work calling. Ah. Oh. Okay. Um. I won't phrase it. Did, yet, but it. did you say um, Julie's watching? Julie. Uh, I think it's Julie J. Turpin that comes up as. Uh, I think she was. I don't know if she still is. Uh, let me have a look. Uh, let me know if you're watching Julie. Because um, I'll uh, show you a bit of the alcohol blending if you want. It doesn't say she's still watching at the moment, but. Uh, okay. Linda's just joined as well. So moving down to the centre of the flower, remember how yesterday I was saying about the dark colours receding, so we can actually walk back in areas? No, it wasn't that, like Julie. Ah. And Hayley's asked what pressure are you using? 
Do you know what? I already know where Taylor's coming. Quite answer that. That minus five. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. I think I need a day off. <laughs> I'm being quite firm. Um, I so that's I'm very, 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 very heavy-handed. So that's evening for Linda in Australia. I think. Yes, it was evening in Australia, didn't we? Yes. Yes. Slowly getting the hang of this time difference, Malarkey. <laughs> Slowly. So I've gone in with the purple bit, and that's just literally just going to tone right down here, just going to. I want it to um, go right, right, right in. Because this is going to be the centre of the flower. Now, when you're colouring a, a stamped image to when you're actually drawing, um, you will use totally different kind of techniques and approaches. Um, you, you tend to be a lot more stylistic when you're colouring in stamped images. We have somebody on every platform watching. Wow. Yes. Hello to Twitch then. Yeah. If you are watching on Twitch, say hello, type a message, just so we know who you are. Okay, so I'm just going to go in my lightning blue. Uh, Linda's asking if they have watercolour pencils. No, these are. What's that one you're using now? The Prismas. Yeah, it's the Prismas. So they're Derwent Prisma colours. No, they're no. not Derwent. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who are prisoners then? Oh dear. There you go, show my lack of knowledge now. <laughs> it's a pencil crane to me. Um, <laughs> it's a pencil crane that takes up a lot of room. <laughs> <laughs> so who make prisma colour? Uh, they are. That's a jolly good question. Because I haven't had my tin in years. Oh, okay. Who is it that currently makes them? Because. I'll have to look that up. Yeah, okay. you'll have to look it up because my tin are probably the best part of, dare I say, they've got to be at least 10 years because we've been married 10 years this year, so they're going to be probably more like 15 years old. So, yeah, they got decanted out of their tin a long time ago. <laughs> so, I'm going to go back in. Very, very lightly, just round this outside edge. And we can blend that back in. I think they're their own brand by the looks of it. Um. So I'm just blending it back in with the Palest blue. I think Prisma colour is the brand. Just... Okay. So I have two palest blues. Yeah. So I have two pencils here that I haven't shown you yet. So I have one that's a blender and one that's a burnisher. Both of these by Derwin. So the blender does look like it says on the tin. And I'll show you on one half of the petal blending with the blender pencil. Uh, morning, Hilda. <laughs> so this is good for just getting rid of all those little white dots that you get from the texture of the pencil. I agree with Go and put your teeth back in. <laughs> That's right, you got me doing a feed later. That's going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, your other option is... Actually, I have a prism one for a change. So, we can actually go in with an alcohol blender. So, for us crafters, the chances are we have one of these hiding in our stash already. Just, it's probably a, a lecture set one or a um, copic one. Any of them will do. And this is a, a lot less... Um, Pressure intense, intensive than doing it with a, a pencil. So if you are finding that you are getting 
any kind of wrist pain or hand pain. This is actually quite a good way of just getting that bit. I'll just do those little bits there. There we go. I'll stop fiddling. <laughs> Yes, you've got another. You've only got that fire left. You've got all those pills. Oh no, 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 no! So the burnisher is there for when we <laughs> want to make something glossy. So don't fiddle with each pedal. Okay. I'll stop. Okay. Oh, Honest. Now we'll see if I can get that to show up on camera. Probably not. But I will try. I'll do it on this bit instead. Let just catch that. So if you look on the end bit of the petal, let's see if we can get the light to just catch it. So it gets like a, a smooth glossy finish. So that's quite a good one to have in your little crafting stash, you know. It tends to stay in my pencil pot on my desk. Okay, so for the sake of speed, <laughs> I'll start to speed up a bit. So this one, because the light's coming this way, it's going to be a lot lighter than this petal. So I'm going to work more on my mid-tones and then we can just touch up when need be with the dark ones. We are going to do a video on watercolour pencils, but it's a separate one because, again, they have their own. Yeah, they have their own pencil cases. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only have so much room on the desk. Yeah. <laughs> Overlap. I'm just gonna put a little bit of shade just in there, just so that we get the sense that that bit's curling over. I'm just gonna do a little bit just down these veins. Even though we, we've used a, a grey ink, it is worth just going over your lines. Where it's darker, and it just helps those. I need to just pop a bit and actually start to take the shape. I'm just going to pop a little bit of our lilac colour just in the centre. While I'm doing this, not at the moment. Okay, if anybody does have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. I don't bite, we will do our best to answer them. <laughs> so, I'm just going to pop a little bit more in there, and then because our light's coming this way, we're going to have a deeper shadow that falls on this edge, so we can go back to our. Dark pencil, and again we'll go over the actual grey line. Oh my way, they actually have been an even paler pad than this, but they're quite hard to find. Oh. They're a paler ink pad than the um, grey flannel. I'd really like when it's like really, really, really light. See, so it's got like a ghost of an image. 
So next, let's go for the Christmas. Oh, Mike's just joined us. Hi, Mike. Hope you're well. Keeping safe. So this one's going to be a bit paler, just because of the colours that I have in my collection. And uh, Dawn's just joined us as well. Okay, so I'm going to pop a little bit of this grey up here, and. So have you all um, tried the um, grayscale blending from yesterday? The dawn says hi Nat. Hi Dawn. Speak up a bit because the mic's over here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being too quiet. Um, if you can let us know if you can hear me okay, if you need me to shout up a bit, just say shout up a bit. I'm quite quiet by nature, honest. <laughs> go in a little bit darker just there so we get start to get the shape of this petal so it's got a dip in that section there And we're going to go nice and dark to make these bits pop out. Carol did the first one but not looked at the second one yet. Uh, you may not necessarily have the, the um, pencils for the second one. Um, we looked at water soluble pencils, so as in actually water soluble graphite rather than watercolour, watercolour pencils. Which fun! I, I quite enjoyed working with those. I haven't done that in ages, so mm. I don't get enough time to practice everything. <laughs> Everybody else needs to slow down and I'm like no, no. I can see we're doing more and more during the lockdown, aren't we? Than we've ever done. Yeah. <laughs> nice though. Yeah. Okay, so that's your Christmas. Then we're going to go to our artists. Carol doesn't know any watercolour pencils. You can start to see when I'm working with these different pencils just how much of a difference there is between them, even though the colours are similar. The way that they put down colour varies greatly. So I'm using the same pressure with each pencil so you can see just how intense each one is. every single stream. <sighs> so you can hear with these ones. Perhaps we should have moved the microphone over here so you can actually hear the pencil. It's quite um how can I describe it? It's like, it's not scratchy because that, that would insinuate that the, 
the pencil itself is gritty, but it's definitely much more of a scratchy but not scratchy. Mm. Aren't we out here, Judith? What word am I looking for? Because he's looking at me as if to say, I know what you mean. <laughs> no, I know what you mean. I just can't think of a, a different way of describing. Uh, Zena has the Fumber Castor watercolours and polychromo. Must be, I haven't tried the Fumber Castor watercolour ones. Okay, so, broke colours. We didn't put the spectrum on the other side, did we? These are actually rapidly becoming my favourite pencils because they don't mind my heavy handedness. <laughs> and they don't crumble no matter how hard you go at it. I'm just going back up the veins with the next dark pencil. Mm. What's the question? No, no, no. Try thinking. What's that? You thinking worries me. Have enough pencil on there that I can go back and quickly do the blending again. There you go. You're not the only one doesn't like spectrum, as they say. They seem to break easily, especially as I'm heavy handed. They also <laughs> break when sharpening. Yeah, yeah. I, I wasn't impressed with the quality, I have to say. I was doing a review at the time. So, mm. That's what I knew you meant sharpening. I read it as sharpening. <laughs> what was it say? Shapening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I have auto corrected my head, it just changes it for you. <laughs> Doesn't it, dear? Yeah. This one's a bit more tricky, this one, because I've only got two pencils to work with. Ah, Julie Turpin's just turned up. Ah. Hi, Julie. That might be very good timing. <laughs> so, because I like to come in this way, and I say it's going to come along here. yourself a set of light fast go and follow Judith who's doing some brilliant videos 
Carolyn's come in as well. Hmm? Carolyn. Mercer. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go back to my blender pen. So, as I was saying before, for those that have joined, this is just a, a normal alcohol blender pen. Can't really focus, thank you. <laughs> I'll try and do half petal with the alcohol and half of the blender if I'm good. Is that blood pool, Yeah. Yeah. Ah, there we go. <laughs> okay, so I'll get here as well. So as I was saying before, it's it's a much lighter handed way to do your blending between colours. And let's go for this half again. And keep it to a <laughs> consistent size now. Okay. So, hey there. I'm just going to blend this bit in as well. Okay. Half of them done. And get to be blender for the other half. Maybe done every other half. Yeah. So the blender pencil I'm using for those that have just joined is the Derwent blender pencil. And last night they're doing that blending. Um, for those who are interested, we have a discount code for Derwent. So if you go to derwentart.co.uk. Com, sorry. Com. Com. I can say it's not dot com. It's dot com. And when you place your order, if you put in the code, all capital letters, thank you. Numbers two and zero, a hashtag, and then capitals D, E, and R. This will give you a twenty percent discount and a free shipping. Um, so if you are interested in any of the different products that you've seen Natalie using today. You can go there and get yourself 20% off and free shipping. So I'm just going to blend this little section here with the pencil so you can compare between the two. I'll pop that code in both the chat windows just so everybody can see. So. Sorry, I think I've got the next section. screen so I can see that you're seeing it okay try and keep it out of the shadow as well same problem with streaming on a, a wet day is that we have to put the light on so we get a bit of a shadow cast cool well, I mean, that's that's a long time to have to hold that <laughs> So I'll take a photograph of that and I'll pop it up on the group along with um, a photograph of the swatches. 
and I'll also try and write a little bit of a mini review to go with as to which ones are my absolute favourites. So we're back at two? And we are back at two and I will be doing text and affinity in Illustrator. Okay. So we'll start off in affinity and we'll move into Illustrator after. Oh, we might see if we can use the TV and yeah, but we couldn't, still couldn't do it side by side because the illustration won't tile. Yeah, but if you did it manually. Mm. <laughs> 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 Not sure on that one. Which <laughs> you just use them. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I'll, I'll do it in here. It's a little less hassle. Alright, so you're back at two and then I'm doing a stream at seven tonight, aren't I? Yes. So at seven o'clock tonight as well. Um, I will be doing a very beginner's basic guide to Canvas Online. So if anybody wants to come along to that, that's 7 o'clock this evening for Canvas Workspace Online. And it's a very beginner's basic walk through the what you can do, what you can't do. Um, and just a basic look around the, the program itself. Um, if you do want to join me for that. Uh, Look, you have Lou starting at 12, so she's just about to start, and we have Pete Simpson with his 12.30 giveaway today, and I know Pete's back at 4 o'clock with his card making. Yeah, yeah, so we will be done by 4. Yes, always. <laughs> yeah, because I want to go and watch Pete, <laughs> and Pete comes on and watches our stream, so it's cool. Okay. Yep. Happy, happy. Happy, happy. So I'll go away, take those photos and get those up on the group for you. Okay, thank you um, all very much. Oh, if you're not already a member of the group, when you apply, please answer the questions and then we can let you in. Okay. Okay. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much and we'll see you at two o'clock. <laughs>